When I think of stewardship, I think of the verse from 2 Corinthians, God loves a cheerful giver. I believe everyone can become a cheerful giver with practice. Eric and I started the practice of giving regularly to the church about 25 years ago. We were a young couple with a toddler and an infant. Eric was starting his career and I was a full-time student. To say that money was tight at the time was an understatement. Yet the Lord put it on our hearts to start the habit of giving regularly to our church. So we made our church offering a priority in our budget, just like paying the mortgage or utilities. I would be lying if I said from that point on we were cheerful givers, just like God loves. There were times when it was very hard uh, to write that check. For example, when tuition was due and there had been an increase in fees that we weren't expecting, or when we had an unplanned car repair. Somehow, we managed to make ends meet while sticking to our financial commitment to the church. Over time, we have learned that by supporting the church and its various ministries, we can help share the Word of God in ways that we would not be able to do individually. As parents, we work to teach our children the practice of giving. We gave our children an allowance when they were in elementary school. Part of that allowance was to go to their weekly chapel offering at school. After that, they could spend what was left or they could save up for something that they wanted. Watching our girls' spending provided some humor for us as parents. God gave us two children with very different personalities. One daughter couldn't wait to spend what she had, while the other waited to see if she could potentially share what her sister bought so that she could save hers for something bigger. One day, the girls came home from school talking about a noon fundraiser that was going on. As a mom, I started thinking, what am I gonna be asked to buy now? However, they said the class, well, each class was working towards raising money for the Cows for Kids campaign. For every $200 raised, a cow would be purchased for a mother in India. Not only would the mother have enough milk for her children, the extra could be sold for additional family income. By the time we had gotten home, the girls decided that their extra allowance money for the next several weeks would go to this cause. They were excited to be a part of something bigger. Today, as we look at the Grace Upon Grace campaign, my prayer is that our congregation will have a childlike excitement about what we can do together. Eric and I are looking at what we'll be, we will be able to give above our regular weekly offering, and we look forward to seeing what God has in store for us as we combine our efforts with our brothers and sisters in Christ here at Grace.